Hello and welcome, Coach Titch here. I'm excited to let you know there is 19 days to go. The book launch is here. The book is out, ready for you to read, to study, and to apply the principles. I've walked an amazing journey with the Lord as I've studied these principles and just gone through the Word of God and began to apply this and move from a place where I had to wait for an income uh, once a month to a place where money is flowing in on a consistent basis through revenue streams that God has helped us to create including one of them which is the publishing house that has now published so many authors pastors leaders great leaders in our nation and beyond i'm so excited that god gave me the grace and the ability to tap into something that is supernatural i want to share with you from the book one little excerpt here in a chapter called in fact i have part one and part two called no more poor among you did you know that God's will, God's intent for mankind is to not be in poverty, not to be in lack? God never intended for man to suffer, to struggle from a financial perspective, resource perspective. God intended for each one of us to be masters of our economy, living in the blessing, living in divine increase. And in this chapter, I quote from the book of Deuteronomy in chapter 15. And verse 4 it says, How be it there shall be no needy, some translations so say no destitute, no needy among you, for the Lord will surely bless you in the land which the Lord giveth you for an inheritance to possess it. A very interesting passage of scripture where Jesus, where the word is actually saying here, there will be no poor among you, no destitute people, people impoverished or in lack of daily resources. And according to the stats in South Africa right now, they're saying 95, 90 to 95% of us are living in consumptive debt. And that's not a good place to be. We're living in poverty. We're living in lack, driving cars we don't own, living in homes we don't own, wearing clothes we don't own. We're eating food that we'll still be paying for for the next six months. That is not God's will for us. God wants us to live in plenty, live in abundance. So what is the key? The key is to get wisdom from the word of God. And that's what this book is all about. Putting together resources that will equip the believer to live the blessed life. He says there will be no poor. What was the reason that there would be no poverty? It was because, he says, that the blessing of the Lord will be operational in you because the Lord will bless you in the land that he's giving you to possess. But the verses after that go on to help us to guide us that the obedience to instruction, to the word, to the promises was vital for people not to be in debt. In other words, we've got to get into the word, study the principles and not turn from them to the left hand or to the right hand. Observing or hearing in Hebrew has a very strong inference of not just hearing with your ear, but doing in action. It actually goes on to say, if you will hear, but in the original, in the Hebrew, it, it says, in hearing you will hear. So there's not just the hearing of saying, I heard something, but there's the hearing of doing. It is the doing of the word that leads us or brings us to a place where there's no poor amongst us, where we're walking in the blessing, living in financial increase, where we have become masters of our economy. I want to challenge you. Take the word of God seriously. Take your life, your destiny seriously. Get into the word of God and make the investment into your life, into your future and begin to redefine your whole life. God's intention for you is for you to live the blessed life, to live in increase. What is interesting is if you keep reading the same passage, he brings us to the scripture that Jesus quoted in the New Testament which says, the poor you will have with you always. What, was, it, was it confusion? And I explained this in the book. But it, he, God was not confused when he says there'll be no poor among you. Then he says the poor you'll have with you always. What he meant was there will always be those that are reprobate enough to ignore the principles of the word. And those are the ones that, ought, that will remain poor the rest of their life. It's God's will for you to walk in increase. You can see the details on how you can order or pre-order your copy of Masters of the Economy. It will change your life forever. This is Coach Titch. Thank you very much and God bless you.